Good day, friends. I hope you're doing really well. This is Tracy Brown, your somatic nutrition dietitian and a tuning expert. And this morning, we are going to talk about the grocery store. Actually, this whole week, we're going to talk about the grocery store. Shopping, not getting too much in preparation. We did some of that last week. But this week, I want to talk about what I know to be true from thousands of client hours and even my own experience back in the day of when you're working towards more freedom with food, what you're going to find is that the doors open really big and wide to all the things you possibly could choose. And that's where we actually get stuck. So I'm not going to talk too much about today, like, you know, making grocery list and, um, thinking about maybe what you hadn't had in a while since you were 10 or, um, even, yeah, doing some kind of big, long sit down for two hours and think about your food. I'm not going to have you do that, do that kind of adventure. Instead, I wanted us to break it down into smaller parts. And so I want you to think about the, the grocery store as another um, challenge that maybe your nutrition therapist has given you. So, you know, let's look at the grocery store as a place of like all the things in all the ways from the moment you get in your car to go there until the time you walk out. All the places where you feel a little activated or a lot of activated and the tendency maybe is to stay activated and just get so overwhelmed that you miss the things you needed or you get shut down and you still miss the things you needed. So it can go both ways. So I want you to think about today, where are the places? So really let's break it down and we're going to go through more details and even more nuance in Wednesday's video. But I want you to is it walking through the door that I get a little stuck? Is it just seeing how bright it is in there or, or um, colorful or the temperature or just the fact that there are so many options feeling hard? So that's the places you want to look at. How do I back this up a notch and chunk it down? So let's say that you get overwhelmed by all the options. Let's just pick the whole thing. Let's bring it down to one aisle. What if you didn't have to pick new items every single time and every single time aisle you go, but you pick one aisle that you really take your time to find, you know, keep yourself in your feet, to orient to what is good, and then you maybe do that challenge thing you want to do, which is buy a new kind of cereal, or instead of buying oat, to really lock into what that experience is like. Take some time to basically imagine where you get a little stuck, and then work your way back to what tools you have, help you stay more grounded, and to remember that this grocery store experience isn't bigger than you. That you do have, you can do this hard thing and that you're capable of getting your needs met. So, and, you know, the rest, again, the rest of this week's videos, we're going to talk about um, maybe some more tangible tools. I'm going to put a link below to one of my, um, you know, in, in your skin videos or um, opt, opt in so you can look at like, what tools do I have at my disposal besides trying to mentally white knuckle this experience? We're gonna work on that this week. And for the most part, we're gonna continue to work through all the comments we got this weekend around like what help, when you basically, what makes shopping easier for your food. And you got lots of great comments. If you didn't see that here on Facebook, then look at Sunday's post and what people find is helpful where they're getting stuck, and we're gonna keep unpacking those this week. So thank you all so much for watching. Please pass along this video for those who do, like grocery store shopping is like their least favorite thing. We will do a little video too about online shopping. Because of our current world circumstances, many of us have been introduced to that, and now maybe getting used to it or find it really frustrating. I actually had some frustrations about it probably the first month or so doing it, and I feel like I'm a pro now, but I'll talk to you more about how to do that more effectively, not be missing the stuff that you wanted to. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't get everything I want every single time because maybe things aren't available or whatever, but I've learned to um, just shop more effectively. So I'm going to teach you how to do that too this week. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye for now.